Hey, what's up? It's Jared with Ditch Auto, and today we're going to take a look at how to connect your Nikon D7200 to an iPhone to transfer photos. Now, your Nikon D7200 has both NFC and Wi-Fi. NFC is a connectivity feature called Near Field Communication, which with some devices allows you to just simply tap your phone to the side of the camera and it will automatically connect. Uh, now, the device that I personally have that's an Android device does have NFC, but I believe it to have too new a version of Android and it just doesn't seem to work. So if you have an Android device, all you're gonna have to do is make sure that NFC is turned on. So you come into your menu, so we tap on menu and then go to the setup menu, which is the wrench icon, uh, and then scroll down until you get to NFC and make sure NFC is turned on. Now on this side of your camera where your SD card door is, there's a little NFC icon and you would simply tap your phone and make sure NFC is enabled on your phone, tap your phone to the side of the camera and it will automatically connect. Now you will need to make sure to have downloaded the Nikon um, uh, viewer application as this camera does not support SmartBridge which is Nikon's newer platform for wireless connectivity. So make sure that you've downloaded the correct app from the store and I'll provide the links in the description below for, uh, for those Android users out there. And then all you have to do is, is just tap to connect and they, it will automatically enable Wi-Fi, it will automatically connect and all that will be done for you automatically. On an iPhone, we're not so lucky because the only thing that you can use NFC for on an iPhone is Apple Pay. You can't actually use it for connecting to other devices. So here's what you have to do to connect your D7200 to an iPhone. You go into the settings menu and make sure that you have Wi-Fi enabled. You'll then want to go into network settings and go down to view SSID to see the SSID of your camera. This is the username of your camera that you're going to connect your Wi-Fi to on your phone. So I'm going to hit OK uh, and I'll just hit the back button once and we can see Wi-Fi is enabled and all that good stuff. So on our iPhone, what we're going to need to do, so here let me bring the iPhone into the screen, is make sure that you have the app installed and then go into your settings application and in your Wi-Fi, available Wi-Fi networks, you're gonna see your Nikon camera there. The fact that there's no padlock next to it means that it is an insecure network. That means that anybody with the app installed on their phone can access the images on your camera. So I recommend if you're shooting with the Nikon D7200 to only turn on Wi-Fi when you need it. Do not leave Wi-Fi on all the time because anybody else who's passing by can see the fact that your Nikon is available and if they have the Nikon app installed, they can access images from your Nikon camera. That's just the way that this works. There's no password that I was able to find as far as connecting it this way. So what you're gonna need to do is tap on that, that Wi-Fi network and it's gonna go ahead and connect to it. So you'll see I have the little checkbox now. I can then go and, app and open up the app and let's just go back to the beginning of the app it's gonna show take photos or view photos. I can then view photos and then pictures on my D7200, tap on that, and it's gonna show me all of the images uh, and stuff that I have captured on the camera. Um, and the little X's are video clips. It doesn't allow you to transfer video clips uh, that I'm aware of. So I can kind of scroll through here. I can uh, hit select and tap on multiple images or I could just come in here and tap on an image and hit the checkbox um, and then download uh, the images right after that. So it's pretty simple for connecting. The only downfall I think is the insecure network. So when you go and connect your phone, it creates and opens that wide open network. So you wanna be very careful of that. Um, so let's go ahead and just take a look back at the camera again. Of course you can take photos by going into live view mode and then uh, let me just pull the cap off of the camera here um, and uh, adjust my, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't allow you to make too many adjustments on the fly here when it's connected. Um, but anyways, I can move my camera around and view a live screen here um, and take pictures using my phone as an external screen and control of the camera. That's kind of a cool feature. All right, so let's take one more look here at our Wi-Fi uh, settings here. There is an option for you to connect and I need to make sure that I'm disconnected. Otherwise, I'm not gonna get all of my options back here. So let me 
make sure that my iPhone is disconnected from the Nikon. So we'll come in here into our settings, choose network settings, and you can see push button WPS. Now, if you have a router, which your router would be at your home or office, and it has the push button WPS button on the front of it, which is a button that allows you to smart connect to devices such as this, you can use push button WPS. Um, the camera goes into a waiting for connection mode. You push the button on the front of your router. Your router looks for that incoming connection and connects to your camera and automatically connects your camera to your local Wi-Fi network. So that's definitely one way of connecting it. When you're out and about on the fly and you're not around Wi-Fi or anything else, you're gonna rely on that direct connection that we just showed you, which is the camera connecting to the smartphone. Um, you also have the option if your camera is connected and you have the app opened on your smartphone to choose from the photos that you wanna to send to your phone from the camera. This is very familiar for what I'm used to with Sony. Um, and Canon has an option to do this whole wireless thing, but you have to choose your images from the phone. So that's gonna do it on this video telling you and showing you how to use Wi-Fi and NFC on your Nikon D7200. Very possible with either phone, iPhone or Android, but it is a slightly easier process on Android. And if I had an appropriate Android device, I'd show you just how easy that process is. Uh, but as of the time that I'm filming and uploading this video, I think that Android 7.0 isn't necessarily supported fully yet, um, as I've had some problems there. But I, I would assume Android 6 and lower are supported, and Nikon's probably gonna be adding support relatively soon for the newest version of Android 7 devices uh, that are coming out you know, within the next month or two. So thanks for checking out this video. Um, if you liked it, please subscribe to our channel. We produce a lot of videos here on Ditch Auto, and if you want to be notified when we release them, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Once again, links that I mentioned are in the description below, and if you have any thoughts or have any problems, questions, please ask them in the comment section below this video. We'd love to do our best to answer those and help you solve those problems. Thanks so much for checking out Ditch Auto, and we'll see you next time.